Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last episode we left the Black Cave and arrived at the city of Salmon after defeating the Rough Queen. And now we're going to loot this city for some items. Alright, so go ahead and run forward and enter the first door on the left. This will be the early O family house. Okay, so there's a pippet in the pot. But we're not going to do nothing for now. Go ahead and probe the pot on the left hand side for an antidote. And the other one contains a seed. Open the closet for 500G and exit to the south. Okay, now go ahead and cross the street and enter the inn on the right hand side. Once inside Kirsten's Inn, go ahead and enter the right hand door and probe the pot for a seed. Then go ahead and head upstairs and there's a closet we can open for six generators. And go ahead and enter the west room. And there's a pot in here that we can probe for five sticky tapes. And finally, the east room. Probe the pot in the east room for another seed. And that takes care of the items here in the inn. So go ahead and return downstairs and exit. Okay, now back on Main Street, you're going to want to head to the back of the area to find a pot by the stand go ahead and probe that for a pixie flower <laughs> and you can notice that there's a talking car here pretty uh, creepy <laughs> now go ahead and enter the um, second door on the left and this one is Elmo's Elmo M Mello's Tavern Blah. head to the back of here to find a pot that we can probe this one contains another seed after you get that seed in Elamo's Tavern, go ahead and exit. And since we already probed this pot for a pixie flower, we're going to talk to this crow at the stand. Alright, 
Now, there is uh, you, stuff you can buy here, but it's all random. And it all costs 50 G's. It'll say this one, that one, the other one, and then which one. Uh, so go ahead and just uh, keep on choosing whichever you want. And you'll get some pretty good rewards. But uh, there's one in particular that um, is an accessory. So just keep on tapping A and you'll keep getting random items. And it might take a couple tries, so you could very well end up spending a good amount of money here. Yeah, you're going to spend a pretty penny here, maybe. It's not that bad, because it's only 50 G. Come on, you freaking crow. Give me what I want. There we go. And so finally, after pressing uh, or after buying a boatload of items, one of the items that you'll get is the Awakening Bracelet. So this item here, um, it increases your slots by three. So your skill slots for all immortals go up by three as long as you have this uh, equipped into one of your skill slots once you've learned it. So let's go ahead and get that on to Kime right away. Um, and that's the Awakening Bracelet. Like I said, it might take you a good, you know, 10 grand to get it, but once you've got it, you've got it. And it's pretty good to get it now, that way you can get some more skills um, onto your Immortals. So once you've got the Awakening Bracelet from this stand, go ahead and head left. And you'll run into a pot by another stand. This one contains a seed. And then on the other side of the stand 
is another pot that you can probe further up the road and this one contains another seed once you have that go ahead and enter the right door and you'll find a guy that is standing over a pile of money Alright, so go ahead and probe the pot to the left for a slot seed. Not bad. And then there's a dresser that we can open on the right. This contains a 1000 G. And then further up to the left is another pot that we can probe for three wheat stones. Finally, behind the guy, notice a little um, object that's glowing a cabinet that we can open for a secret ledger <clears throat> so after you got the secret ledger key item Go ahead and exit the house. And then enter the next door up the road. And this one's Auden's item shop. So you can walk over to the guy standing on the left. This will cause Kaim to remember a dream. And then probe the pot that he's standing next to for a seed. So this seed should be number 60, which means if we give them all to that guy or that pipit that is in the house further back the road further back uh, towards the entrance of the city then we'll get our next award from the pipit and then you can talk to the guy on the left um, to get some new items Um, and we can go ahead and buy a hard spatha. A bright Inca. And... We can go ahead and miss out on that, but what we can't, what we should get is um, go over to the accessories. Actually, buy one more hard spatha and to the accessories, we can get a uh, sword teachings. Um, ooh, sorcerer's earrings. That's really good. Go ahead and grab one of them. Magical trial record. That's really good grab one of them uh, hmm. and the gold spirit band that way we have at least one of everything
and that'll be all for there so let's go ahead and equip our characters with some new um, stuff we got the hard spatha that will equip to Seth and Kaim And the bright Inca we can go ahead and equip to Sarah. If you want, you can buy another one for Ming, which is highly recommended, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip it because we're going to be getting some new items soon anyways. So I'm just going to continue stacking up money. Now there are healing tanks available. So I'd go ahead and grab just a few of them if you need them. And get some blazing rubies. It's always good to have a few of these because uh, antidotes, all that, just because... Um, you never know what's going to happen. And it's really easy to, uh, you know, use an item to cure anything that you, uh, if you get, inf you know, infected with something, you can, all you got to do is just, uh, use an item to quickly get rid of it. So now that we have 60 seeds, we're going to go ahead and head back to the first door on the left hand side. And head over to the pipit. And choose, him to, choose to give him all the seeds for a total of 60. And you'll get a power bangle. Very nice. So if you found all the seeds up to this point and you have not missed any, you'll be able to get this item. If you are missing one or two, then I'm sorry to hear that, um, but you're not going to be able to get your item. And it's, it's really a pain to figure out which one you missed. Um, it's very annoying. It happened to me the first time I played this game. So I feel your pain. <laughs> But um, let's see, we got the power bangle. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is put that on Kaim right away. It's an attack boost, which is great. And we'll put the uh, pixie flower onto Seth. Meanwhile, we can put... Um, go ahead and put sword teachings on her, on Sarah. And for Ming, you can put the Sorcerer's Earrings and the Magical tri Trial Record. Because she's going to be our main composite magic worker. So we got a pretty good amount of new accessories to learn some stuff. And we're going to be learning some more um, abilities, which is great. So now after you've uh, claimed your reward from the Pippet, go ahead and exit um, to the west of the city into the port. And you'll be stopped by Busy Davy. And apparently the captain is missing. Alrighty, so now apparently we have to find the captain before we can leave. 
So all you got to do is head over to the inn. It's the first door on the right. And go ahead and talk to the guy standing by the bathroom. Twitchy Shivy. Apparently somebody's in the bathroom and they've been in there for a while. And out comes the captain. Alright, so now you got the captain out of the bathroom and he's returning to the port. Which means we now have access to the port. And we have looted this whole city for the items that we need. <clears throat> so go ahead and save your game again at the save point. We blew through $22,000. Wow. But it was worth it because we came out with some pretty good items. We still have 100G. <laughs> so um, that concludes this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. We, uh, yeah, we looted this place for all of its items, found the captain. And uh, now we're going to be heading out to the port to see what's going to go on next. But uh, I'm going to have to cut it here, guys. So I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey.